faster. He's got all the hallmarks of Dijon so many decades ago. We've got him, we've got him. New beauty. One moment of aquaplane, just one moment when those tyres cannot clear enough water and leave contact with the tarmac and the driver is nothing more than a passenger. I have a lot of aquaplane and he overtook me in corner six. I overtook him on exit of it and corner ten he came a bit wide. Uh, we touched two times there. Then I was forced to cut the uh, track on the grass. I come back, he cut the track on the grass, he overtook me and so on until last call. And there's Massa, we're on board with him, battling with Kubica over sixth place. Kovalainen has finished second, Raikkonen is third. Kubica and Massa are battling here. Massa has taken the place away from Kubica. And in the very corner where Kubica hit Lewis Hamilton, Kovalainen second, then Raikkonen third, David Coulthard's fourth. And who's going to win out of these two? It's got all the hallmarks of Dijon so many decades ago. But it's Massa who's come out in front. What an extraordinary few corners. As they were trading literally blows towards the end of the race and it's Massa who takes sick. Maybe the stewards will be having a look at that, but it looked pretty much 50-50 in terms of who was dishing it out there. The rivals are on the track together. Michael Schumacher is undoubtedly going to the top at the end of this lap, which he's approaching now. So how long will he stay there? 136.094. That is fantastic. But what about Mika Hakkinen? Can Hakkinen take that half a ten? It's too close to call, and he stays second. He's a tenth of a second faster. So Hakkinen, I said to him before this qualifying, is it flat through 130 ice? No, it's a tiny lift, but maybe I'll go flat in qualifying. We don't know if he did on this lap, but we're soon about to find out if he's been fast enough through the triangle as he heads now towards the start finish line. Can he nick the provisional pole? Yes! yes. Very, very close to Mika Hakkinen's pole position. Watch him over the line. Yes, First. he's done it. He's done it. One tenth of a second faster than Mika Hakkinen. And Mika Hakkinen is in first position. Fabulous, fabulous last sector. Seven one hundredths of a second. Now, Michael, pick up the gauntlet which the Finn has thrown on the ground. Over the line goes Schumacher. Pole, pole. But can he hold it? Nine thousandths of a second there, Michael Schumacher. Out of the last corner, for the last time, goes Mika Hakkinen, and he fails. Michael Schumacher takes pole position for tomorrow's Japanese Grand Prix. Pole position is the best start position uh, for, for the race, as we all know, and you simply want to achieve that. Now Hülkenberg's got Danny Kvyat in his sights. Everywhere you look, there's overtaking here at Suzuka uh, this afternoon. And now on the run down towards Spoon, two cars going wheel to wheel. And the Toro Rosso stays ahead, but for how much longer? On board with Nico Hülkenberg, who's gaining that Renault power, gaining on the Honda-powered Toro Rosso towards 130R. Is he going to dive down the inside, Hülkenberg? He thought about it, but then realised he was a bit too far behind. Uh, behind Hülkenberg, Sergio Perez is waiting and ready to pounce as well and he's got DRS assistance this time as the Renault driver as he pulls out and goes wheel to wheel with Danny Kriat and then ahead of the Russian into ninth and Perez is going to get ahead of Kriat as well two cars getting past the Toro Rosso as Mansell attacks 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 the Ferrari of Jean Alesi now here is the old master at work Nigel Mansell he can't see He's got solid water and he's going for it. And he decides better. Now we're with Mansell. Now, this is a supreme master at work, the world champion of 1992. Hill on lap 24, but coming in soon. On aggregate, leading Jean Alesi in the Ferrari there by 25 seconds. Nigel looking left. Is he going through this time? No, he is not. Mansell goes ahead of Alesi and, and he's done it on the track. He's, he's not, he's not going to do it on aggregate, but Nigel Mansell puts his hand out of the cockpit and says, there we are, folks, I'm back. And indeed he is.
duty. The race is over. The race is over. We got first to the line, though. We got him. I have no, no, I'm so lost, man. Where are we? Japan? Suzuka?